of fates. It reveals the secrets of the past, the present, and what may come to be. Most would think me fortunate to own such a book, but I can only use it in service to others. That is my curse. It wakes, tormenting me once more, feeding on the mysteries of this world, unraveling them into opportunity. That opportunity for whom? Hello everyone and welcome to Silverhawks Let's Play. I'm playing the campaign of Total War Warhammer 3. I will be playing the ordinary game now that I've finished the prologue. Um, yeah, and uh, since I thought that I'd be playing, uh, I thought I'd be playing a lot of other gods before uh, the Chaos God, because apparently there's a God that's a continuation from the uh, the prologue. So yeah, it f feels only natural to play that way. Um, if you're a new player to Total Warhammer, Total War Warhammer, don't be afraid. I'm also a new player to Total War Warhammer. Um, I will be going through everything again, even though it, the prologue helped me out a lot. Uh, I'll be doing that again and I'll try to take it as slow as possible in the start and then ramp up how fast I go the further I go. And I'll be stopping at several places on the way to make sure that, well, I don't know what the hell is going on. And also for you guys who ha have not played Total War Warhammer 3 before, anywho, Let's start. This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic turned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here in the north? Beyond the maelstrom, in the realm of chaos, on the forge of souls. Is he alive? Wounded and dying, and rests in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. <laughs> I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor.
Only a fool would challenge Belagor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Ursan's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Ursan is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos, and I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the Maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal, one to bypass the Maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally, one who is tempted by the power of the God Bear and can withstand the horrors within. Yeah, that wise and old man. He's been with us for three generations. Ah, three games, of course. Of course. Recommended for first campaign. Recommended for first campaign. Well... I <coughs> cannot be stopped. Yes, normal is going to be the way I play. Moxia. Is that a good name? I was thinking about calling him Silverhawk, but I don't feel like being a demon. <sighs> Grog the demon. Garaladius. No, I was about to say something silly there. Um. Our ball, our ball sounds good enough. Once mortal, the demon prince is a great, powerful servant of the ruinous power, earning favor to acts of violent glory in battle. The demon prince grows and mutates into a being of godlike power, forever bound to the whim of the dark patrons. Faction effects: access to all demon units in the demonic glory. That's nice. I get all four kinds of different. Uh, demons, uh, Reign of Chaos, inflict damage with friendly lord in battle will unlock random army abilities. Okay, and the lord effect, that is his own. Customize via demonic gifts, equip gifts are granted through servitude to the Chaos Gods. Access to gifts of Chaos Undivided, these gifts are not directly influenced by and of the Chaos Gods allow you to represent chaos and all its glory. Access the gift to corn, yeah, corn, Nurgle, Slanesh, or T Siege. Did I say Siege? Siege. Siege. Yep. The God Slayer is returning back to the mortal plane, forever changed. Yeah, I played him the, just a few days ago. And by a few days ago, I mean this morning. And now the dark power circles around like carrion and veeing of the price, the yoking this demon prince to the servitude. Until then, they offer him g gifts and servant of his own. And so he raised an army that serves no single god, but the legion of chaos. Yeah... <clears throat> Yet, even as he is courted by the dark powers, there is a great bounty bound in the chaos realms. I do not need to travel far to find the demon prince and make him my offer. Already he had laid foundation to a new fortress from where he will cast his reign of terror. Yeah. I wonder which god I'm going to follow if I'm going to go for the Chaos God. A new evil enters the world. A prince of Kislev, reborn a prince of darkness. 
a champion of the Chaos Gods. Peace live will fall. It will kneel before me, before Chaos. You think too small for one so powerful. <laughs> Have you forgotten, Seer? I kill Ursa. Why stop at Kislev when you can give Chaos the world? No more twisted words. Wait. Ursa lives. You lie. Wounded and dying by your hand, but alive. The shadow has him still. <laughs> <laughs> Belakor will pay for his betrayal. <laughs> the god bears power. It is yours for the taking. So take it. The realm of chaos cannot be entered. No one can cross the maelstrom. I can. I will guide you back to the Forge of Souls. All I require is one drop of Ursan's blood. Finish the job you started, mighty God Slayer. God Slayer. World Slayer. The person's power is mine. Yes, it is. Our goal is clear. The Demon Prince must harness Urson's power and claim the mantle of a god. I have brokered a pact and will guide him to his desire. Advise me, as my brother once did. Take me to the Chaos Realms, or suffer his fate. Prince of Demons, God Slayer, the ruinous powers watch, waiting for you to make your mark on this world. The deeper the scar, the easier it will be to wrest Ursan's remnants from Belakor. First, establish a capital. This will alleviate the attrition from which you currently suffer. Your new fortress is all but complete. Claim and dedicate it to one of the Chaos Gods. Yet do not linger, for trespassers approach. Colonists from Nordland attempt to settle the untamable lands. In a mistaken belief, this will quell invasions from the north. Wipe out the gullible fools at their beachhead, the Bay of Glades. Then make the Scalings pay for failing to protect lands that are the dominion of chaos undivided. The other Norskan tribes should be conquered and subsumed into your burgeoning realm. And across the Sea of Claws lies even fatter prey. The Empire is within reach, but beyond that fractured nation, the so-called Motherland, Kislev, the nation which abandoned you, whose god you had no choice but to slay. The leader of Urson's cult, Kostaltin, musters a force to enact revenge against you. Meet them head on and harvest their miserable lives to power your own vengeance. As you gather your forces, the Tome of Fates ponders a way to return to the Chaos Realms. Your form remains malleable, so use this to your advantage and wield the Legion of Chaos. A prince will become a king, and then a god. The Demon of Chaos will automatically wage war on any non-combatant faction they encounter. Um, the Demon Prince may earn favor with each of the Chaos, God of Chaos as uh, demonic glory is earned. The new demonic gifts are unlocked and allow customization of the Demon Princess appearance. Where are you? There you are. 
After earning great amount of demonic glory, the demon prince may have chosen to dedicate themselves as the champion of the four gods, or as one undivided champion of all. Learn more about the demon's chaos here. Okay, so that's even more cruel. Intruders text. from the Empire dare to approach your fortress. Destroy them. Defeat an army belonging to following faction in the battle. Norland. Norland has set army into the north, hoping to halt the invasion in their own territory. One such a army thinks to cut you off from your new fortress. Show them no mercy. Yes. Demon Prince. Demon Prince. Doom is upon them. You see, I got... Battle is upon us. Study your options carefully. The enemy are close. Blood will be spilt. Blood will be spilt. Uh, yeah, fight battle, of course. The Tome of Fates is under Siege's most favorite grimoires. It contains limited knowledge, lore, which enemy demons are ignorant. However, like all... Okay, so this has nothing to do with the fight. <laughs> yeah. And this is just a small, small army. And I got these units. I have no clue how they work whatsoever. We shall see how they work. These seems to be some kind of uh, artillery dudes. These seem to be riding these horses, so cavalry. These are flyers. Don't know what you are. You I know. You look like a guy who wants to kill people. Same with you. Blood for the blood god. Yeah, I wonder if these aren't also... Yep. Greatness in battle may only be reached through vigorous training. Even the most skillful of generals must practice their craft. Yes. Yes, they must. Let's have a peek at you. Pikachu. Where are you? There you are. Blood for the blood god! And Pain you and are... Despair. Is that your arm? Yes, it's your arm turned into a sword. That's nice. And you look like a horror. And you are a horror. That's on siege. Let's see, uh, these are also from her. Him, I meant. That as well. These are not so good looking flyers. I don't really like them. And here is our lord and savior. Arbal. And that's his standing. And that's his flying. Uh, yeah. And here are these fellows. Nerglings. Ah, cool. Okay, that explains the marking of them. They are like a legion of them. Okay. Anywho. Let's find out what is this. Inflict damage with friendly lord generates glory points, which can be used to unlock one of the following bonuses. Horn or corn causes lags. Okay, chosen at random. Yeah, we are going for you guys. And these. Oh, that's those dogs that I had before. This one's I'm interested in as well. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Oh, 
Okay. Crab clawed riders. I'm sorry, but you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry already because you guys are going to get the short stick. I am terrible at using mounts. They have a tendency to die. Uh, yeah, let's start by thinking about what we're going to do here. Uh, we'll put those over there together with you. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You over there. These are the cavalry. No, I meant the uh, archers, I guess. Let's make them into group number one. And I guess these are our combatants, so put them into group number two. And these three I'll just play along with as they are. You might as well stand over there. Yeah, let's start this up, shall we? I'll try to not in any way, shape or form. Be sure to position your troops accurately in battle, my lord. Drag out your formations for best effect. Yeah, I'll try to not pause too often, because that can be seriously uh, boring to watch. At the same time, um, I will do my best to, like, go go ahead and do stuff directly. Um, those nerglings are probably not going to take such a hard punishment. Let's see here. Armor, no armor. Leadership, speed, melee attack, melee defense, 24. 20 and... Do you have any kind of power? No, you don't. The enemy attack your flank, Commander. Drive them off. You go for that. You attack you. Just don't stand there. Go ahead and go in. The enemy waver, my lord. Their troops begin to flee. Run the cowards down. Yeah, victorious. I'm not very surprised. There weren't a lot of them. Send the champion of chaos. I'd like to kill you though, however. Um, go and those people go he is kind of big isn't he Shoot him. Don't get up. Yep, and the Lord is dead. And battle. I lost no one. Well, that wasn't a huge surprise. Because, well, I was a bit overpowered there. I 
I take it that one these first battles are pretty easy to do. Pretty easy to conquer, that is, of course. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality can be worth more. Okay. Which god do I want to go with? I think Korn will be the god that I go towards. Thumblaze is our enemy belongs to Nordland, perished in the Battle of Doomkeep, Ice Tooth Mountains. Yes. The Chaos Gods labor to give you a mighty fortress from which you can begin your reign of terror over this world. All you need do is take it. From Dunin's Downkeep, new power rises, meaning of the dark powers have been tasked to build you your mighty fortress, and it's now all but ready. Claim it. So they gave it to me, and then I have to claim it. Ah well, settlements or cities or ports in the campaign map from the provinces are defended and controlled. Ownership of a settlement grants ownership of the territory around it. Right click an enemy settlement to order a selected army to attack. Yes. Demon Can I move still? Cool. This world will burn. I still have. I since I'm not in my own territory, I still got the. theme I go with that makes me hurt. Yeah, let's raise it for corn. Yes, we finished that mission. Goody goody. Master, you require a larger demonic host if we are to dominate this region. Yes, I got that. Uh, you will need large army for battles to come now that Doomkeep is under your dominion. Recruit more warriors into your host and the victors will soon follow. Additional units can be recruited into an army on the unit, requir unit requirement panel. Yes. Oh, cool. Spell resistance and melee attack or melee defense. Ooh, that's nice looking. Yeah, that's much better. Skills. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go for corn. And just continuously go for corn. Did I have any other things down here? Jesus. You require large demonic hoses where to dominate this region. Okay, so these are my things I put to good use. Oh Jesus, there's a lot of them. Flesh Hound of Corn I got now, again, apparently. Blood Letters of Corn. Demon Prince. Demon Prince. Place Lord. Perfect. Well, I'm done. In there. Um. That would be the demonic glory thing. I was thinking research, but don't see any research, so I think I won't be gaining any Hellish kind of research. Oh. Yeah. Anywho, let's Join see what we can bring say. along. Chaos Furies. Weak against armor. Uh, 
No, I'd like to build a building here, maybe. That's... Flesh Hound of Corn. Soul Grinders. Bloodthirster. Defense. Infrastructure. Yeah, that's about the things I was thinking that would be here. I'll, uh, let's start with that one then. And then these three provinces will be my first attack, I guess. And this is interesting. This is the corruption here. So I got chaos, undivided corruption. Vampiric corruption, no. Slave, no. Nurgle. Maybe corn should be... Yeah, I'll get that with the corn buildings. Plus 10 is the growth. I should actually be going for growth building. Now let's go for that one. Because I want some other... Other things than dogs to play with. Uh, let's end the turn. Yeah, there's shit tons of more factions here than summon the host. Recruit two new units. I can do that. I guess I'll just have to have a little bit of a peek over here. Let's check the diplomacy and see if there's any happy people who would like to join my course. Okay, I've got non-aggression pact with you. Theirs. Tribal fury. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Non-aggression pact. Without doubt. I don't think I want military access to you though. Norska. Grayling. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding. Yes. But you have my time. I get that In you'd agreement. rather be raiding. It's good to have some friends though. Um ending that turn as well. Damn it, I could build probably. Blood Reaper. Uh, recruit two units, you will need a larger army for battles ahead. Yes. A potent ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. Okay. Does he assassinate? Yes, he does. But you can go in and help for now. Kislev's fallen champion. That will be once that building comes of age, I was about to say. Yeah, let's go for the other things. Garrison details, building browser. Okay. Recruit a lord, recruit a hero. Marble. Okay, that's what marble is. Uh, powerful heroes can act independently. For now, you have a new servant to join the army, bolster your host. Heroes are versatile, independent agents that can perform action against hostile targets on the campaign map. Heroes may also be added to your army, in which case, they will fight a powerful single unit in battle. With a hero selected, right click on the control army to embed it outside. Yeah, I've, I've done that. 
that. Thank you. Maybe I should be going like all kinds of. Yeah, already done that. Thank you, old man. This seems to be still in my domain, so I might as well waltz down there. Win some magic, reserve. So pitiful. So weak. Um. Join the ruinous crusade. Oh, so I am in foreign territory. Righto, let's go for the Bay of Blades, I guess. But not now, but next turn. Hundred and four factions. Didn't we start with hundred and six? Nodland's colony mocks your intent to control this region. Destroy them and take the settlement. Yes. Nordland occupies the Bay of Blades, allow them to exist for a week in the dark powers in influence in this region. It will be considered a great boon if you purge the settlement of mortal filth. Settlements of cities and ports and campaign maps from Bloody Yada that, that we've already seen before. Reward 200 with see uh, corn there. Let's check what we can do here. Stance, Mars, Ambush. Okay, cool. I could attack that place. Let's not click the Lord and check the garrison so we might see how many troops they've got. Well, that doesn't seem like there's a lot of troops. Let's go for it. Then. And yeah, as I said, I'm going to play every battle. The city has been reached and your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Study your options nevertheless. Encircling the enemy and starving them out may be the wisest course of action. No. Jesus. <clears throat> I just took a mouthful of ice and then I thought, God damn it, this was cold. <laughs> and I had to spit it out. Ah, oh, cool. This never uh, appeared in the first campaign. These four, five pillar thingies. Come on. Come on. Your forces are ready to storm the defenses, yet I advise caution. You face an entrenched enemy that has had time to prepare. Be wary. Yeah. I could actually waltz them from several different places at the same time. No, I don't want any tour. Go away. At the same time, if I do that, that's like in any horror movie. You sp spread out your forces and the forces are spread out if you do that. Yeah. I think I'll be... Picking you and putting you up there together with you. Hmm. 
these four will become my starting shooty shooty thingy. You guys are going to be my... No, you are going to be my shooty shooty thingy. Those are the millies. And... I don't know. Dogs will be my number three and you I will just take care of while I'm doing stuff. Okay, let's start by putting the, those over there. Then the second one will be behind. The third one will be coming out on the side here. Maybe they run up before everyone else. And you are... Yes, you will also run before everyone else. And you'll fly over yonder and take that together with our mighty lord. Yes, let's start this up. Shall we? Your army marches into battle with great powers, my lord. Be sure to make use of them. Okay. Ascended champion of chaos. Are you guys going to stay there or are you going to. Jesus! Stop shooting me! Send troops to capture the enemy defenses, Commander. They can be turned to our service. Seekers! Yeah, horse, horse douches should not be running straight into spearmen, I guess. Get your ass over there then, I guess, if you can even capture that. Then you can attack them. Uh, you guys shouldn't be there. Guys, however, should be attacking them, not just standing around doing nothing. Can you take that one? No, you can't. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Fly there. Yeah, my poor cavalry. No way. You can go up there. Capture that one. Are you coming? Yes, you're coming. Don't die! Damn it. Yeah, well... The enemy commander runs from the field, my lord. And a sorry spectacle it is, too. His army, the enemy general, is slain, my lord. Cursing your name with his dying breath. Send his army after him. <laughs> Go up there. Kill you. These dogs there just standing around saying, What? What? What do you want? What do you want? You're all the way behind there. Yeah, what a sorry battle this is. Big 
victory indeed. I wouldn't say that's a huge victory because I suck at this game when it comes to like attacking attack with all the forces I'm happy they weren't having like 2020 army because then I would have been dead 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 Yeah, I have a tendency to send in people and then they just stand there and do nothing. And then I have to send them in again and then they just stand there and do nothing. Besides the victory, the loot gained. Nice. At last, the defenses have fallen, my lord. The fate of those that remain is yours to determine. Okay, I'll do different gods each time then. Seeds familiar, not a bird of fancy, simple that, that, not every bird of fancy is simple that some enable Charger to converse with the servants. Write up enemy territory, campaign line, site, 15%. Miss mission success. Demon Prince. Can't build in anything other than what I'm building. Uh, at last, defense have fallen, my lord, my lord. Grow your empire, great one. Sunder this province and your rivals will be forever wary of your burgeoning power. Yes. Take the mountain. Maintain control of following one province, either directly or own ship through vassalage and military allies. For now the carrier's gods are capricious. Probably. You will call you will call you will call quickly fall from their favor if you cannot demo, dominate your home province. Dominate the icy tooth mountain provinces are a large land of area map that contains four settlements. The settlements with province may View the overly panel appear where settlements are selected. Faction controls all settlements, yeah. So I should take these two as well, of course. That's like what I'm aiming for, anywho. <laughs> Automatically, so yeah. Don't don't you worry, little Matt, don't you worry. Um Click him. Noble recruitment is available to boost your armies far from home, my lord. Yet such flexibility comes at a price. Build your forces close to home where possible. Yes. I'll take two of you, thanks. No, that's three of you. Two of you is enough. Um, and then I'll start marching northward i think next time around of course of course of course my head leadership two passive fuel by rage jesus yeah you look handsome yeah most definitely flaming body Foreboding ignition, armor, 25, fire, resistance, and melee defense. Hmm. Yeah, give me that. And the legs. Is this is Slanesh. Short speed bonus, short speed, ability range. Yeah, <laughs> of course it is. Uh, the uh, legs are very f fine looking legs. Armored serpent tail, passive serpent tail armor. Yeah, I'll take that one. Wait a minute, what are you? 
Okay, that's what sentient tail mean. That's a sentient tail. So, yeah. Kick ass cool. Did I gain any power? Yes. Income from raiding. Sacking settlements. Armor. Corn units gain stuff here. Do I do that? I don't, do I? Income from raiding would be nice though. Because that means raiding is something that I'll be doing a lot. Yes, I got that. And uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, this has been fun. I'll catch you guys on the next time I play. Uh, the thing is, my next play I will be going for these two. And then I'll be trying to go and deal with these fellows down there. But there's probably going to be people coming and visiting my doom keep. Heretical influence abounds. There's nothing more to build. There are probably going to be people coming here and saying hi to my doom, doom keep. Anywho, have a nice day. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. And catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.